I hate to say it, but the past few days have not been very good for the new Color Purple movie and its cast. As it stands, the new movie is going to bomb at the box office, and with a production budget of $100 million, the movie will be lucky to break even with its budget. I will consider this to be a disappointment, because the original Color Purple movie ended its box office run with $98 million, which was completely unheard of for a movie that had a majority black cast in the 1980s. Now in fairness, musical movies that are outside of the popular Disney projects, as well as other animated movies, have always had to work behind the eight ball in order to really succeed at the box office. I mean, a movie like La La Land made over $450 million on just a $30 million budget. While the only musical movies to ever gross over a billion dollars have all been Disney properties. I think it's worth mentioning that In the Heights, which is my personal favorite musical movie of all times, was considered a box office bomb because it made $45 million while working with the $55 million budget. However, I don't hold the low box office numbers of In the Heights against them. For one, the movie came out during COVID, which meant that there was a simultaneous release of the movie in theaters as well as HBO Max. In the Heights also did not have a top selling book or classic movie that garnered worldwide recognition to go off of prior to the movie being released. Nevertheless, over the past several days, a number of the actors from the new Color Purple movie have been sharing their horror stories about their time while filming the movie. For example, Danielle Brooks shared how production did not provide individual dressing rooms or food for the actors during a large part of the filming, and Taraji P. Henson sharing how production made them drive themselves in their own rental cars, and it didn't help matters when the movie didn't get any Golden Globe wins from a few days ago. Nevertheless, I want to share my thoughts on why this Color Purple movie was a financial failure. A few weeks ago, I shared my review on the new Color Purple movie in the form of an unpopular opinion, and in that opinion, I laid out a case for why I believe the movie was a huge disappointment. And to summarize those thoughts, I never had any significant issues with the acting performances of the cast. My issues were mostly with how the movie was directed and how the movie did a deep diversion from the musical despite having only one third of the songs from the Broadway play. And in my opinion, the biggest reason for why the Color Purple movie failed at the box office was because the powers that be neglected to give moviegoers that were both new and familiar with the Color Purple a reason to spend their money to see it. I mean, let's keep it real here. The original Color Purple movie was a classic. It's a movie that's up there with other black classics like The Last Dragon, Do the Right Thing, Friday, and The Five Heartbeats to name a few. Now imagine sitting at home, channel surfing or perusing YouTube, and you see a movie trailer for a remake of Friday or The Five Heartbeats. Anybody that's seen both movies at least 20 times like I have would be asking themselves two questions. One, is this remake even necessary? And two, what would this remake show that would make it just as good if not better than the original? In my opinion, the only remake that would be just as good if not better than the original would be the movie Sparkle. And even though the 2012 Sparkle movie had its flaws, the cinematography was stunning and the story was able to differentiate itself from the original, and most importantly, the remake had fewer flaws than the original movie. And on the flip side, the House Party remake that came out last year was 100% freshly squeezed booty juice, and whoever wasted their money bringing that movie to life needs to be drug tested expeditiously. But I can say that prior to watching the new Color Purple, my assumption would be that this movie would be a proper adaptation of the Broadway play. The same Broadway play that was nominated for 11 Tony Awards in 2005 and ultimately won 11 awards from different organizations throughout its history. Now as good as the Color Purple play was, it did have some of his own faults as well as limitations, which is expected whenever showrunners have to pack the story of a popular book and iconic movie into a two and a half hour musical. But I still hold on to the belief that if the powers that be did a proper adaptation of the musical and fill the gaps with character development from the book, then this new Color Purple movie would have been just as good if not better than the original movie. But I also believe that the new Color Purple movie bombed at the box office because of the marketing campaign. In my opinion, a great marketing campaign for this movie would have been one, letting the audience know that this movie was in fact a musical, because that was a huge complaint with some of the moviegoers. And two, it could convince the skeptics that they should take a chance on the movie. But in my opinion, this movie dropped the ball with its marketing. I firmly believe that the powers that be should have released the movie's opening sequence on social media so that potential moviegoers would know what they're getting themselves into prior to buying a ticket. 
They should have released featurettes on all of the main characters with samples of the musical numbers, which in my opinion would have also built anticipation for the movie. Instead, we got the same two teaser trailers that were played over and over. But those are my thoughts on the failure of The Color Purple, and I'd like to know what you all think about the movie. Why do you think that it was a failure? Do you even consider the movie to be a failure on any level? Do you plan to see it again if you've already seen it? Feel free to leave all answers below in the comment section, and I'll be sure to reply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.